Hey everybody, Bormac here for Adom. When we left off, I died terribly. This time, we'll be different. Or will it? <laughs> so, let's give this a go, shall we? I'm thinking... Oh right, I need to open up the volume mixer. Alright. I'm thinking a hearthling archer. I've never done the questions before on camera. Let's answer questions. In your childhood, slaves were forced to work in your neighborhood. Many of the slaves were too young, too old, or too weak to work effectively. The force masters mistreated them and abused them all the time. Will you help them personally, trying to lessen the worst chores the slaves face and bring food and water whenever you can do so without being noticed? Ignore their pains because bringing them... F I should say A and then B... Ignore their pains because bringing them food and water would only prolong their suffering. C. Ask a taskmaster as if a couple of silver pieces would allow you to take some of the slaves home with you to do the hard work you are obliged to do for your family. Or D. Ask a taskmaster as if a couple of silver pieces would allow you to take some of the slaves home with you to do the hard work you are obliged to do for your family. And then do those hard chores yourself so that the slaves can recover a bit. Let's say D. I want to be a nice guy. Well, at a market, you discover a merchant selling a wonderful item you have wanted for as long as you can remember. Sadly, you don't have enough money to pay for it. Will you, uh, try to steal the item in a moment of confusion because you must have it? Try to earn some coins as a juggler in the market in order to be able to buy the item. That was A and B. C, wait until night comes and then slay the merchant and take the item. Or D, ignore the item for now and work more until you have enough money to buy it. Let's juggle. While on a journey, your carriage is attacked by foreign spies. They siege you and your traveling companions and call out for a royal emissary traveling under disguise with you. Do you A. Try to negotiate with the attackers in order to stall them until help arrives. B. Sacrifice yourself by masking the emissary so that the others may escape. C. Sneak your way past the attackers in order to call for help, or D. Turn the emissary over to the spies in order to save yourself and the other travelers. Let's try to negotiate. What would you order in a restaurant for lunch? Raw meat, fried, bad, cooked lizard, the dish of the day. Cooked lizard, of course. If you're carrying your liege's gold to his castle, you stumble upon a poor beggar. Do you... A. Give him some of your liege's money. B. Give him some of your own money. C. Ask the... Take what little money the beggar has in his dish. Or D. Ignore the beggar. Let's give him a little of my money. Not my liege's. That would be illegal. There have been whispers throughout the land of approaching chaos. The great sage Calvaster warned all races a short time ago. But you have had your suspicions beforehand. What was it that made you suspicion? A. Early snow and sudden frost. B. A strange sickly bird. C. The behavior of the townsfolk. D. The barren trees around your home. I'm gonna say the barren trees. You return back from a hunting trip and you notice that your cottage is on fire! Half of it is already burned down! Do you A. Try to save what you can by any means. B. Let it burn and build a new cottage somewhere else. C. Rush to town and demand money for the lost cottage. <laughs> Do you suspect that someone tried to assassinate you and stay on your guard? Uh, try to save what you can. At your old enough, your parents give you a sword and leather armor to practice with. While you are practicing uh, with the goblins in the plains, you hear a dirty laughter nearby. You sneak up to the nearest hill and see a group of four raiders torturing a farmer. Will you A. Stealth stealthily walk down and ambush the raiders, trusting your skills? B. Run away, because what chance would you have against the brigands? 
C. Wait to see if the raiders would leave soon and go help the farmer. D. Quickly scout the area for help. Uh, I don't think, since I'm still a kid, I would be able to fight the raiders, so uh, let's try to find help. Alright, and this is what we get for it. It affects our talents, our alignment, and some other stuff. I got two talents out of that. Of course, as a hearthling archer, I'm going to take proficiency with slings. And good shot. What is my name? Uh, Timmy! A no grain ring, whatever that is. As a hearthling, we start with a sling and some rocks. And a bunch of other rocks. And we have uh, pretty much no armor. We have clothing. Here's the training cave. Let's pop in. Life is rife with new experiences to make. Woo, training. What is that, arrows? A throwing club. An iron ration. Hey, goblin. I have a dagger. What happened to the sword my parents gave me? Talk to the goblin. Goblin screams at you in a friendly manner. Okay. Light boots. Oh wait, I don't think I want to wear those. Earthlings don't like shoes. I'll just stay a coward for now and sling. Take my rock and I'll eat the orc. Yay, level two archery. Dodge. I need healing. Uh, alertness. Large bats are jerks. Eh, more archery. More dodge, I guess. First aid. Eagle eye. Some gloves. Aha! I guess right. Fencing gloves. And they're not even cursed. Lucky me. Bam! I'm gonna need more rocks. Bam. I 
dwarf. Hey, dwarf. No, I haven't, but if you could move... Heaps of gold would be nice, I suppose. Usually, uh, when they dig like that, they leave piles of rocks, which is why I'm kind of hanging around, but no such luck this time, I guess. Come back, kobold. Let's get out of here. What a jerk. More archery, more alertness, more dodge. Let's, uh... Uh oh. No. worms. Let's wait on the next level and not give them a chance to breed. Sure, I'll take a tambourine. Goblin Chieftain Corpse. dropped a knife, which is probably an orcish dagger, which would be an upgrade. As long as it's not cursed. So I'm not gonna equip it straight away. It's a wolf. I guess this is the bottom. Oh well. Dominion, you are a little too excited for this. I'm just exiting a dungeon. We're gonna... No. Uh, how about... That. I added some new songs to the soundtrack. These songs are from Transistor, because I like that game. Archery. Dodge. First Aid. Orc, stop following me. It's rude. Okay, I've got a goblin following me. Did not follow me into town. You. I would like to learn healing, so I'm going to take your quest. Wish there was an option to turn, like, auto swap on. I don't really need any food, I don't think. If you have some iron rations in here, I might grab some, though. There's one. Uh, 
And I'll eat this large ration. And away we go. How much ammo are we looking at now? Yeah, quite a few rocks. That sling could be an upgrade, you never know. Bones. And a scroll. Can I read? No. That's going to be problematic. Another sling and an orc corpse. Didn't know... Archers didn't know how to read, but that might just be a, uh, hearthling thing. No. We don't need the turbo tunnel just now. Iron wand. Jackal. Magical shot. Oh, that drains your power, that's right. Good for upping your regeneration rate, I guess. Because, you know, you get more of that the more you regenerate. I'll take that rock, and I'll take that scale mail and that rock. And then discover I'm overburdened. Oh well, I could uh, increase my strength carrying this around. Explore every level till you find the healer. Also, hopefully an altar. That would be sweet. Is that you? Nope, that's a cut purse. Now, oh, whistle attacks only take 800 energy points, and my archery is up to 99. Take some dodge. And more first aid. Let's get Keen shot. I'm dangerous with missiles. Heavy boots. Targeting vital spots and hitting me right away is very, very rude. Brass is worthless, but I could sell it, I guess.
Probably not for much, but you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Interesting, interesting little alcove right there. And these kobolds, these large kobolds are just giving me a very hard time. But I am a halfling, hearthling, whatever. So I'm kind of on the small side. How do I know what the scrolls are labeled if I can't read them? A large scroll labeled... Blah, 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 blah. He should be around here somewhere. Oh, he hit a corruption trap. Try not to turn into a writhing mass of primal chaos. That would be bad for me. The metal cap. Turn that down. No, bugbear. Hearthling bread. That's good for me. Medium shield, a huge rock. I can't load my sling with that. Uh, F, wipe my face, my appearance goes up, then I hit that guy with the rock. Hey, I would like to learn. Okay, then freaking heal me. Oh, wait, there was a door there. No. Okay, so... Wish I could put a note on the map as well. That would be handy in this situation. Ancient dried blood. Don't want to fight in that room. Now we just go down as fast as we can. Freaking beetles, man. I'm supposed to be a good shot. Uh, just shoot. Actually, I'm just gonna have to kill you. You will get in the way. Sorry. I hit an alarm. Everyone's hostile now. Level 7. That's 100 archery skill. More dodge. Alertness. A pixie! I am the worst at fighting. I just don't want to use up all my rocks. I mean, I've got a 
decent pile of them, but they can go pretty fast, especially in a big fight. Sorry, goblin. Where are the stairs? Strange stick. That's a boomerang. Eight arrows, I guess. Rattling fencer's gotta go. Ow, because of that. That and that. I forgot she had so many uh, sung songs in this. No, freaking para paralysis eye. Cave lizard. Taint in my vicinity, that would be uh, a corruption trap. A silver diadem. I'll take it. I might as well put on this amulet too. Aw, oh, it's cursed. Oh well, I can take care of that. I just need uh, some water and a altar. <laughs> Diadem's curse too, though. That means my appearance went down instead of up, but it's just freaking appearance. There's a watery potion. I just need to know where we're at. Troll, run! Hey, Riggs, follow me. You should be used to this by now. Cobalt. Jeez, they're always in my way. Hey, 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 get this guy. Learn me. Then heal me because I'm really banged up. Thank you. I'll take the white potion and the hatchet. I don't want the manual. Oh no, I'm hungry. Uh, hearthling bread. Much better. My strength has gone up from carrying this crap around. I think 16 is as high as it'll go, they told me. I also kind of want to hang around that dwarf for more rocks.
I am also the worst melee fighter in the world. I got three with daggers. I haven't found anything else. Stay in there, Kobold. No one likes you. There we go. Scroll-labeled bonsai. In reverse. Please don't bleed me. And you think 51st aid would let me patch up a bleeding wound? Thanks. There she is. Hey, girl. I'll give a look-see at your dog, but no guarantees. A 17 is blessed ration. Okay, tool, torch, use, turn it off. Uh, ow! Fireball trap. Kick the door, blinded by a bright flash. A bone, some gold, orange potion. Okay, the tension room is over there, then. We'll see what's in it. Lots of stuff. Level six. Uh, healing? And alertness. Definitely gotta whew, kill the ghoul. There's a lot of rocks in there, and I kind of want them. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Yes, please rust that, it's cursed.
Oh no, my dagger is rusting. It's slightly injured. Run away! Okay. Got rid of the diadem of beauty anyway. Pray the pain away! I'm dead. Totally dead. I got nothing. He rested all my stuff away. And this stupid blink dog got in the way. So I'm getting hit by four things. Oh, it was an amulet of resurrection. Well, that was kind of a waste, but whatever, I'm still dead. I can't punch this thing to death. Is there a chance to swap places with things if they're hostile to you? Because all it says is they resist, which doesn't really give me a lot of info. Like, do I have a percentage chance, or is that something only the monk can do? Probably something only the monk can do. Well, I'm completely screwed. There is no way I'm getting out of this situation. Okay, drink that potion, and that one is a rust removal potion, that's water, and that's carrot juice, which doesn't help unless you drink it in a room that smells like carrots. Uh, take off the clothes, yep, yep, put on the armor, nah, I'll fight naked. Berserk! Bam! Oh, I got it! <laughs> Run away! Oh no. Deity is not pleased. Therefore, I'm poisoned. Dead. <sighs> if that blink dog hadn't have been there, that would have gotten a lot better, but those stupid blink dogs get everywhere. What was it even doing being hostile to me? It must have been in the tension room and it just decided to teleport behind me. But blink dogs are lawful, and I was lawful, so it shouldn't have been hostile to me if it was just wandering around. Definitely in the tension room. And really obnoxious about it. Uh, at least I punched it to death, but... Uh... I definitely ran out of prayer power there. Oh well, I was still kind of uh, screwed because the Amulet of Resurrection got used on me in a stupid fight. <laughs> I think I'll record another one.